Hello and welcome to day six of Hackvent Calendar. Today we bring you Prophecy by David Seltzer. He also wrote The Omen, in case you're wondering. Well, yes, it is a story of unrelenting terror. It's absolutely wonderful. A horrific tale of what goes wrong in a natural disaster when mankind is behind it. Let it be a lesson to all of us if we upset the delicate balance of nature. Don't be surprised if she turns round and Mother Nature bites you on the ass. Yes, you will learn. And you will learn the hard way. I'll read you a little bit from the inside. In the boreal forest, untouched since time began, Maggie joined her husband Rob on a research mission into the forested wilderness of northern Maine. Instead of finding a land of beauty and peace, they found themselves caught in a nightmare, one that Maggie knew would never end. Prophecy. Your death is about to be born. Yes, Maggie. Yes, you have got some problems facing you. And poor Rob, if only he'd known, then you'd never have had to go on the journey. I won't say any more, my darlings, because I would be in danger of spoiling a fantastic novel, one that you will surely not be able to put down. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got this cold coming on. Do pardon me. Yes, I do feel for Maggie. I feel for Rob as well. And all the other people or unfortunate people who are involved. Oh dear. Why, oh why, must we continue to pollute the very ground which we walk on? I do not understand. I can't understand. We were writing about it in 1979, which is when this originally was written. This is actually a second reprint um, by Mayflower Paperback Granada Publishings in 1982. That's what this edition is from. It's cost, let me see, £1.50. Um, my husband found this for me because obviously he knows that I absolutely love an ecological disaster. He knows I love end of the world books. He's, he's just a wonderful husband that buys me beautiful books. ISBN number in case you would like to get yourself a copy. And, oh, it's just a little bit with the light. Hang on. There we go. So you can read the blurb on the back. It, it's a wonderful book. Oh, goodness me. Um, the bear. Oh, yes, I must mention the bear attack. Because that is literally the stuff of nightmares. Um... There is a movie uh, of this. Um, I'm sure if you would watch it, there's certain things have been stretched, missed out. The book is always better than the film, trust me. However, the effects that they managed to do for the movie with the bear were pretty impressive. <laughs> I've got to say, I did enjoy that. Yes, it is... Um, 
an end of the world novel. Um, it's a classic reminder that we mustn't tip the balance too far, otherwise the very planet we live on won't be livable much longer. Uh, um, I love the artwork. It's absolutely gorgeous, as always. I do say the artwork is just as important as the content of the novel. The two go hand in hand. I hope you give it a try. It's not a long read. As you can see, it's quite a, a thin book, so you'll you'll go through it quite quickly probably because you won't be able to put it down because it's so flipping good I hope you um, let me know what you think of it and happy readings darlings and enjoy <laughs>